But I sent that, the, the rough to my editors, Mwendi Wakanya at the Sunday Times. And I sent it to him about a day earlier. He was really surprised because I'm notorious for being late. And, and I sent this thing. I said, no. He said, listen, I'm at a restaurant. I said, Mwendi, you have to see this. I need to know whether I'm going to do it. And I, I've got to think it through. So he tells the story about this, the waiter. I had to fax it to the restaurant, the rough. And he tells the story about this, this waiter coming across with this fax. And suddenly the waiter, he said, the guy was, he said, he, Mwendi tells us, he says, the guy, black, a black waiter suddenly went white. <laughs> he said, he just, the waiter was looking at this thing and he suddenly, his, his jaw just dropped. Then Mondi, he handed it to Mondi and he also reacted. Everybody reacted. But I and what was Monty's reaction as editor? He he phoned me and he said, he said he always he says your 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 he's an age comrade that is tough but it's what needs to be said. And then I got cold feet. I got cold feet because not because of Zuma or the politicians or the repercussions, but I suddenly thought, how would women see that cartoon? A, a gang rape situation or potential gang rape and so I then I showed my, my wife who was I mean she was also absolutely shocked Karina but she understood what I was trying to do but we decided that the best thing would be to send it around to some female journalist colleagues and all this had to happen within 24 hours oh yeah <laughs> and, it, and, the, and we sent it to a couple of and they all told me that they were it, like knocked the breath out of them and then they looked at it for a minute and then they said, but it's right. Yeah. And when the cartoon was published, apart from all the heavy reaction, one of the best things was that on the talk shows where I was getting savaged by people politically and supported as well, but there were women who phoned up and said, look, I'm a rape survivor. Some said, I'm a gang rape survivor. And initially I, I was utterly shocked. And then I looked, and I said, that, that is my experience. And it, so there was that other level of what happens in this country, the patriarchy. And as it happens, Zuma is a huge icon of that kind of patriarchy. And he as also, as happens, had been through a rape uh, case himself. He, of course, was acquitted. And the cartoon is metaphorical. So it's not about his, mm. his uh, rape case. It's about a metaphorical figure of justice. 